Tonight, neighbors are working to change a culture of silence and prevent violence. It all links back to a 15-year-old girl in Norfolk shot on Campostello Road Saturday. Neighbors and Civic League members held a rally on Easter saying that the only way to prevent crime is to show they won't stand for it. That's why they held a community cookout tonight. And 10 on your side's Liz Kilmer was there. And Liz, how did this event factor into their vision for the city? Tom and Nita, organizers say that it's all about community outreach, touching the lives of children and standing up as role models. And people in the Digstown community say that Easter weekend shooting was the last straw. Today's effort to promote peace wasn't the first since then, and it won't be the last. Enough is enough. We want our children back. It's a simple message. Stop this nonsense. But having it resonate is more complicated. Testing one, two, three. Sergeant George Cabarrus is up to the challenge. And if we keep beating this this nail and keep hammering this nail, it's going to eventually go down. And, and, and so this is what we got to do. We got to be out here. We got to walk out here. For the second time in just a few days, Cabarrus led a march through Digstown. I can't hear you. There on Saturday, a 15 year old girl was reportedly shot in the stomach during broad daylight. For many, it was a breaking point. We need to get together as a union, join together, and you know, Put our foot down. Beverly Brooks was among the people who came out of their homes during the rally, watching, listening. I think the effort is beautiful. I think the effort is an opportunity for us as grown folks to step in and make a change. Folks say reaching kids and teens is key. Cabarrus handed out t-shirts and later served hot dogs to many who came out off of Vernon Drive. He says it won't be his last time there. And we want to do whatever it takes because we want to see a difference. We want to see a difference. I want to see a difference. I want to see a difference in these kids. Community members hope it works. I think it will. I think it really will. You know, you're going to, a few going to fall to the side. But somebody gonna listen, and some little kid gonna have an opportunity to grow up. Other events are planned within the neighborhood at noon this Saturday. If the weather is okay, Carabas plans to gather yet again, same place, and push his message of peace. Then at 3:30 on Saturday, another community leader plans to rally there. I'm Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side.